Taurus, what's up? Welcome to your general reading for 1 till 10 September. Taurus and everybody here, there's a message here for you. So stick around and when you find out what that message is, claim it for yourself. This is a general reading, so please take it as it resonates for the sign of Taurus. We're going to take a look at your recent past, your current energy, immediate future, clarify and end off with an oracle message and then also do a bit of a recap at the end just to make sure that you got all the messages. So um, be sure to stick around what you're reading from beginning to end to make sure that you get all the benefits here of what the universe would like to say to your beautiful Taurus with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. All right, let's get right into it, Taurus, and see. So recent past you're starting off with the first card that is in the similar position that has been for Sagittarius no 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 Capricorn sorry Capricorn or am I mistaken I may be mistaken I do apologize um but a very sad sort of energy coming through there for you so in the recent past there is a space of starting new and starting over you know um where a lot of people in like Taurus may say like, oh, I'm not going to bother, it's all right, you know, let the sort of like chips fall where they may. You're like, mm -mm, no, 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 I'm going to be controlling those chips. And I do see a lot of hard efforts, probably repeated effort for the same thing over and over and over, actually sort of beginning to pay off. Because I see that before, you may have been, you may have been coming Taurus very much from a mind space, very much... Uh, you know, it makes logical sense on paper sort of space, you know. Um, this is the sort of thing that the world will agree with. This is the thing that makes logical sense. This is the way it's always been done. This is how my parents did it. This is how the other whatever influences in my life did it and so forth and so forth. And then one day you go like, huh, I wonder what the outcome will be if I do it differently. And I see that you put some heart into it, you know. I can also see that you started to put in those little efforts in, um, those, those little efforts in, um, again, taking me back to a sagittarius type of vibe. Um, maybe you're dealing with someone, maybe you've got strong Sagittarius in your chart, but, you know, it's that sense of, I'm going to do the little things, and, and, and it's like, it's like showing up for the small things, you know. Um, and then that comes more from a hard space and that sort of opens the doors and the gateways to bigger opportunities. Let's look at your challenge before we look at the rest of your reading and for your challenge you had two cards coming up. Oh boy, oh boy, did you learn your lessons. All right. Some of you, it almost feels like you're, um, you were going through the motions of finding who it is that you want to be. So you may have been in a, you may have found yourself, Taurus, in a space of sort of like new beginnings, um, but consistently long, draining, exhausting new beginnings, almost like when you take like a rubber band and you pull it to sort of like, you know, to sort of like the, um, uh, like to, to the maximum capacity of what you can pull it and it's almost like it may snap you know some of you um, may have been having that sort of experience in life that feeling in life for quite a while and I feel that somehow still smiling on the outside you know not wanting others to see how challenged you may be uh, wanting others to believe that everything is okay everything is fine um, but you really came into your life there and I feel that for some of you not because you had to but in a way it's almost like that is what you chose um, maybe felt that you had to do things on your own and sort of suffered quite a bit there privately. I don't feel that it was necessarily necessary to do it and some of you may realize that going forward but that is what happened. Okay. Energy at the moment um, where you are right now oh, 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 oh. Um, it's almost like it's almost like that, that sense of realizing like, huh, it didn't have to be this hard after all for all this time. But then again, I mean, don't blame yourself, um, beautiful Taurus, for the things that you didn't know. We only know what we know. We can only do what we know. That's it. You know, you can take a whole cycle of blaming yourself for that. I wish I didn't do that. I wish I didn't do that. I see that some of you might need to maybe apologize to some people, make some amends. You know, and here's the thing. Apologize, apologize from a point of sincerity, really mean it. And the thing is that other people may or may not accept it. 
You know, you might want them to accept it, and I hope that they do, but if they don't, they don't. All right? And for some of you, there might be a space where, you know, where you might have the experience where people say, you know what, screw you, you know? Um, but interestingly enough, I do feel that that in itself leads to a more fulfilling experience of life, you know? It's like Marilyn Monroe used to say, if you can't handle me at my worst, then you can't have me at my best. And of course, it is not a free ticket for you to be a crappy person towards other people and be considerate of those things. But I can see that some of you, you were kind of a little bit out of sync there with yourself, you know? Um, getting back in sync and time, though, what I can say to you, Taurus, time is an amazing healer of, of energy. It's an amazing healer of the heart and emotions and situations and circumstances where sometimes things seem like never going to happen and then they do. Um, as is the possibility here for you. If you are dealing with someone over here and you really want to have a connection with this person, beautiful Taurus, you might need to really fight for it, you know? Um, it's probably not just going to fall into your lap. You may think that something has been dealt with, but you may be, you may be dealing with someone where, you know, they not speaking, they want to see what you do and they say that your actions determine sort of like what you are doing and your mind might be on a different space. So communication is key here, okay? Um, growing in strength. Some of you are strong enough to move away and to, to sort of live life without someone else. It's not preferable, but know that it's possible for you and it might even become necessary for you, okay? Remember that I know that when everybody looks at these sort of readings, they always want to hear that everything's going to be okay at the end, everything's going to be fine. But, you know, that's not really how life works. And I'm not into gaslighting, so I'm not going to tell you things that are not there. Okay. Let's clarify, but let's get some guidance. Now. Let's clarify this overall energy that you have over here. Because when all things are said and done, there is a tremendous amount of prosperity here for you. I mean, look at that. Um, clarifying your overall energy, you've got the Hanged Man, the Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. So this is about major powerful breakthroughs, you know. If you have done your best, and you've done the best that you can with the knowledge that you have and the understanding that you have, Taurus, then it's time to let it go, you know. Um, you might need to have the willingness to peacefully walk away from situations that are not going the way that you'd like them to go. And I feel also, especially for those of you where sort of money, your own time, your sense of security, independence and those things are a problem, I see a beautiful breakthrough in all of those things getting better for you. Breakthrough in money um, that, that opens all possibilities. It seems like money is quite an influence here in your life, all right? But if, if money itself is a concern for you, my beautiful Taurus, then there's a breakthrough happening here for you. Um, a sudden influx of possibility, um, possible inheritance, winning, like, not necessarily winning the full lottery, but maybe, you know, getting like a windfall that makes it possible for you to breathe a little and maybe make some options possible for you, okay? Let's see, what do we have in your current space? And I mean, even if I make an example, so let's say something like me, for example, I'm going to get myself a beautiful fish tank. And I've won a fish tank, but there's some other things that I need to do, and then I had some things working out for me. So I'm not necessarily able to buy myself a new car, but I'm able to buy myself a really nice fish tank, you know? So that sort of thing, but it, it, somehow it brings a sense of peace into your life, all right? Um, clarifying cards in your current space, um, we've got the King of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Hermit energy, Virgo energy. Um, work, maybe taking a bit of a body rest over there. Um, again, it speaks about prosperity, it speaks about abundance, it speaks about breakthroughs, it speaks about having come to a very long cycle in your life, you know, in a cycle in which you needed to learn things, in a cycle in which you needed to understand things, understand yourself better, know yourself better. And as human beings, we really grow from resistance, you know. Human beings are funny things. Um, and I mean, I even take it for myself. When I was much younger, say like in my early 20s, I used to be incredibly stubborn. 
Um, you know, and all the well-meaning people around me would say, you know what, Adrian, that is probably not the best idea. That is probably not the best way to go. Why don't you try this? Why don't you do that? Why don't you give that a chance? I'll be like, y'all need to let me breathe, you know, stop trying to control my life. Um, and so sometimes as humans, you know, then we get the challenges as you get sort of like in your early 30s, like I'm 40 now. And then you learn the lessons and then it ends up that everybody was actually sort of right in the end anyways, you know, but that's just life. We go through resistance. Um, but for your, for your sense of, um, you know, where you're heading and what you're doing and that sort of things, it's like you really found yourself. And when you found yourself, it's like you needed to almost be with yourself for a while because it feels like for some of you that in finding yourself, you realize that you never sort of really knew who you were to start with, you know. And so you might just want to kind of spend a little bit of time with that, 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 that version of you, of who you are. Nothing wrong with that. Just be very careful of getting stuck in that because, you know, sometimes we can get stuck in that and it almost leads to a, a false sense of power and even sometimes leads to, to alienation, you know. Um, we do that a lot of, of times, a lot of times when we get familiar, for, for example, um, in the beginning of our spiritual journey that what I focus on is what I bring about law of attraction, we feel like, well, that doesn't resonate with me and we can easily lose our compassion. So be careful of that happening, especially the compassion towards yourself, all right? And to those people that are significantly important to you in your life. All right. We may not have to live with certain people in order to be happy, but just because we don't have to live with them doesn't mean that we have to cut them out because we might like to live with them. Okay. Let's see what is the um, what is the clarification for your potential going forward. Ah, you see, this is how clarifications is so incredible. Judgment, Queen of Cups, and Knight of Wands. So you don't have to let people go, you don't have to cut them out, but you get to a space going forward where you can almost sort of decide for yourself, do I want to keep this person in my life or don't I want to keep this person in my life? And why do I want to keep them in my life and why do I want to release them? And remember, you always want to make those choices, whether you cut their tie or whether you strengthen their knot, you always want to make those choices from a point of what is in the greatest interest of all, placing yourself number one, but placing yourself number one doesn't mean sort of pushing other people to the side, all right? Because remember, we are all one expression of universal possibility. We're all one expression of love. If you decide to stay, then things can really work out for you. If you decide to stay, if you decide to almost chew the difficult, the hard bones type of thing, then you can really make things work. There can be a beautiful new emotional experience with someone, but the choice effectively is yours at the end of the day. Let's draw another card just to see if you don't decide to stay. Then there's new options for you. You may just not be that chuffed about what they bring you because it might feel like taking a step back. Okay. Um, growth typically goes along with hard choices and more often than not, the choices to stay are supposed to go. All right, because going is a leaving space, which usually means we leave things sort of like um, unfinished and anything unfinished is the energy that stays with you. All right. Um, and let's just see what you've got in um, in Oracle Energy, beautiful Taurus. If that resonates with you, if it's helpful, go right ahead and like the video. Remember to subscribe and hit that all notifications so you know when your weekly readings are coming up. All right. Message for Taurus, please. And you have... Maybe feeling a little bit alienated at the moment, Taurus. And says, those you love love you because sometimes we feel we give all this love and we really get nothing back in return this is your confirmation maybe you have different love languages you know um so maybe if you're really interested and serious about a connection with someone it might be time to invest into it not just what you need but also not what they need but how they need it and see if there is something that you are willing to give message at the back um to be beautiful in the eyes of another simply forget that they are watching Kaleo, the universe. All right. So, Taurus, this is a space of growth, coming from challenges, really finding yourself. And that finding yourself is a good thing in life. Oh, my goodness, it's amazing. But it's also a space which you can easily be like, oh, well, that is not me. I'm going to move on. So, be careful of cutting ties too quickly. 
um, sort of like challenges if you don't decide to cut this ties, but it also appears like it pays off really, really well, as opposed to moving away, not saying it's a wrong choice for you, because ultimately it's your choice, but it might come with some challenges that might almost feel like um, that, you know, I kind of dug a hole for myself. All right. So that's what I got for you, Taurus. I hope that it helps. Any of you are interested in learning how to read the tarot, be sure to check out check out the link in the description for my step-by-step -step tarot reading course, as well as the link for my um, free oracle card reading course. With all of that said and done, see you next week. Ciao.